Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Now we're going to say hi to our producer, Shannon Morse. She has one of two 15-inch laptops we're going to take a look at. I don't know why you get the giant <laughs> one. This is a clearly I a desktop. this to Rashford. Yeah, he should <laughs> lug that around. This is obviously a desktop replacement. <laughs> Tell me about it. Yes, it is. So this is the Toshiba Tekra W50. In particular, this is the A1500 model. It costs $2,000 on their website. Wow. But you can find it for a whole $1899 if you really want to save okay. 100 bucks. At that point, it doesn't make that much of a difference. It's obviously a desktop replacement. Yeah. And they are touting this as a mobile. Uh, workstation. So it's for engineers and it's for visual artists, uh, people that work on a lot of video. And you can definitely see that when you look at the screen. Uh, very, very large re resolution. It's 1900 by 1080. It can do fully support 1080p video. So I actually pulled up a video for you. And you can also hear a little bit of the speakers. Uh, the speakers are clear, but there is absolutely no bass going on in there at all. Um, so the speakers are a little me mediocre, but as far as the screen goes, it is not a touch screen, so you can't touch anything, but it is made for visual artists. So you can definitely see very nice 1080p video on that. As far as what's inside of this baby, it has uh, you know, everything that you would expect out of a mobile workstation. It has 500 gig uh, hard drive. It does not have a solid state drive. Kind of wish it did because the boot up time is a little bit slow now that we're, we've been spoiled with solid state drives. Uh, it does have 16 gigs of RAM, which is freaking crazy good, which is awesome. I love that. And it does include Windows 7 instead of Windows 8, but it does include a Windows 8 uh, it's Windows 7 Pro. It does include a Windows 8 Pro edition license as well. So if you want to upgrade, is that included can. in the price or? Yes, it is. Okay, yeah. so you could you kind of get your choice. In other words, yeah, it's yeah. already automatically included. Yeah. Um, as far as the specs of this guy goes, though, it's it's six pounds, so very very <sighs> heavy. And then you have this gigantic brick that comes with it. <laughs> That's the power brick? Wow. This is the power brick. It's well, another laptop. so huge. I thought it's it was heavy. a barbell. You were lifting it to build build your muscles. That's there. a good three pounds. That is really right heavy. There. Yeah. Yeah, you, this is not portable by any <laughs> I would means. not take this You're with You're talking me 10 pounds all together. Yeah, it's very, very wow. heavy. So it's obviously made for, you know, hardcore people that need this kind of laptop. Um, I wouldn't take it with me anywhere. So the speakers are pretty decent. Uh, the keyboard is really nice and spaced out. It does include the little nubs, so if you, you prefer that, you can use that. It also has the right and left clicks up here, so if that's the way that you like to use your mouse pad, then you're just fine. The mouse pad is really nice too. It's very smooth, it's very easy to use, and you didn't have to learn anything new to be able to use it. They give a really nice click back feedback, so I didn't have any problems with that. And it includes all the ports that you could ever want. <laughs> Honestly, there's everything. There's a VGA there. port. HDMI, there. VGA, wow. the SATA slash USB, smart card, two USB 3.0s, headphone, has this weird one that I've never used, which is a media dock, I believe it's called. That's a, uh, probably Ethernet. a proprietary. Yeah. And then they USB don't have HDMI on there, though. There is HDMI. Well, right I, okay, I missed side. it. Oh, yeah. okay. There it is. Pretty baby. And there's also a DVD uh, drive right here yeah. and a, uh, another smart... Oh, that's a PC card there? Oh, PC, PC card. Yeah. Wow, I haven't wow. seen one of those in a while. Yeah, so it includes everything that you this could ever This feels want. antiquated, doesn't it? It feels like older it hardware. Does. It does. It's, it's very... <laughs> I know it's they announced heavy, a new W50, it's but it, it's not going to be after the summer, so Yeah, so that one comes current. out in the summertime, and basically they're upgrading the screen. It's going to be a 4K okay. screen. But for now, this one was released about two months ago or so. Tell me you get great battery life. Been. So the battery is about five hours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's oh, kind of mediocre for yeah. this range of product. Right. But... You know, this is for a very targeted market. This sure. isn't for everybody in the world. Obviously, this isn't something I would go for because I like ultrabooks, but it's definitely made for, you know, visual artists. And for 2000 bucks, you do get an i7 uh, Haswell i7. Yes, mm -hmm. And tell me about the graphics. Is NVIDIA graphics, so it's it's dedicated yeah. graphic processor? Yeah. yeah, it's dedicated graphics. Uh, the graphics are pretty good. I didn't have any problems with it. I didn't see any, any kind of lag or anything like that. So I really like the graphics, to be honest. And 16 gigs of memory does tell you they're thinking AutoCAD gigs, or, yes. or uh, you know, 
render man or so you're doing yeah, some heavy duty power. stuff. Even the hard drive is a uh, 7200 RPM, I believe. So that's pretty pretty decent as well. So you can get into your files very quickly and you won't have problems with like uh, processing or anything like that. So my pros and cons for this, I like the high resolution screen. I'm glad that they didn't drop it down to, you know, 768. Not at that, that price. Would be terrible. In fact, they're going even higher, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It has all of the ports that you could ever need <laughs> as well. Does. On the con side, there is no solid state drive and the mediocre speakers. I really wish that they would have included something a little more hardcore, especially if you are an editor and you need to make sure that this, the sound quality is good. But at that point, you're probably using headphones anyway. So buy, try, or don't buy, I would give this a try. It's not the best mobile workstation that I've seen, but for the price, it's pretty darn good. All right, and heavy. And, and, uh, and I guess, it, as you said, it's for a certain kind of user. Yes. And you know exactly. who you are, somebody with big arms. Thank you, Shannon Morse, producer, before you buy snubs, at snubs on the, on the Twitter. Snubs.